promise to you is that in the next 40 minutes, you'll walk out of here with some specific strategies that will cause the folks on your team to go away from just compliance and onto a deeper level of commitment. So I'm gonna share with you guys the top three secrets of the world class. Now, I know, secret this, secret that, right? But clearly they're doing something different. Something different that causes the folks on their team to care, to produce, to go from just complacency to commitment. And just 13% of employees are actively engaged. The rest of them are just showing up or showing up and doing harm to your organization. If you want to get them committed to your organization, committed to your team, you have to care about them. You have to really care about their success, about them, about where they're going and why they want to go there. You have to care. So you don't have to put greatness in anyone. All you have to do is pull it out. And when we take the time to open up the folks on our team and ask them, where do you want to go in the next six months from now? Because most people can't think past the next three days. Most of the time, these guys don't know. Okay, that's good. For uh, 24 hours, you cannot know. That's, that's good enough, not knowing. Now go figure it out and come back to me and tell me so that I can help you achieve success in my organization and beyond. So here I am and I had this thought, three and three. Raise $3,000, swim three miles in the open water. I want you guys to imagine for just a moment if my friend Janice had said to me, was six weeks prior, come help me raise money. No, she said, come get your hip better because she cared about me. And everything else that came from that was a direct result of my initial interest in helping myself. People would rather receive critical feedback than attaboys. They want you to tell them how they're getting in their own way and how to be successful. They want to be provoked into their greatness. The folks who are in the, on the bottom 10% of asking for feedback were in the bottom 29% of overall perceived leadership effectiveness. Right, and the folks who were in the top 10% of asking for feedback were in the top 87% of overall leadership effectiveness. So what does that mean? <laughs> that means that when you go out and ask for feedback, the immediate assumption is that you're a good leader. There's a direct correlation I found in my organization between the folks who ask for feedback and the folks who rise. You see, if you know what they care about and you know what their reason to reach is, Feedback is just an opportunity to bridge those two pieces. See, when you give the folks on your team a really clear vision, they will absolutely get over their fears. They'll drive through them with you. They'll do remarkable things when they know where they're headed. The greatness is already there. All you have to do is provoke it. Thank you so much for having me.